the Joint Research Centre is supporting European policy. It's part of the European Commission uh, in terms of data quality and methodologies and coherence and the availability of life cycle assessment uh, data. We have quite a history in this area. Um, in 93 and uh, in response to the integrated product policy, we launched the European platform on life cycle assessment. Um, one of the key deliverables from that is the international reference life cycle data system, which includes both a handbook for methodology and also a data network to promote the availability of uh, coherent quality short data from different sources. Now we're working um, further on the environment footprinting methodologies for both products and organizations. And equally uh, then working together with industry and business associations on the development of more product specific and sector specific rules for life cycle assessments and uh, footprinting and so on. There are various problems with data, uh, one in terms of the availability, but then of course uh, in terms of quality. So there are some good sources of quality assured data, but there are also some bad ones. And it's, it's obviously a problem for the general user, both in government and business, to know what is good and what is bad. So uh, this is obviously an area that we, we're trying to work on and uh, to set minimum requirements um, so as to give confidence to, to users and also that they know what is, what is reasonable quality data. Life cycle assessment historically uh, over the last 10 years has involved from a, a small group of people more at the academic level into now a major instrument that's being uh, considered in serious terms to support policies and also in the conception of policies as well as a major decision making tool, uh, support tool in, in, in businesses. Um, so I, I would say it's, it's now at its infancy and now the next 10 years will be really to see that grow into a, a fully mature tool uh, with widespread support and resources both from uh, sort of government right down to SMEs and support. There's a lot of advantage to front runner companies in terms of uh, greener products, uh, knowing their product supply chains and the, the end of life and the benefits and communicating those. Um, also the companies, the associations in particular, are key providers of the most relevant reliable data. Um, so working together with the Commission in terms of setting the, the rules for the game to provide that data that's, that's obviously coming from the most relevant sources and the people that really know what are their emissions and their resource consumptions. We all have a, a common interest. Um, I, th I think there was a common agreement that life cycle assessment and thinking is, is a necessity now. We shouldn't turn the clocks back. We need to go ahead. Um, but there is a lot of room for improvement and there's a lot of work to be done and uh, barriers also to be removed at different levels, both politically and uh, in the business sector.